What's up everybody, it's Georgina. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today I'm going to be showing you how I created this fun yellow spring eyeshadow look with a pretty natural face makeup. So if you want to know how I did it, then please keep on watching. Today I'm starting off with the face makeup and as I said, I'm going to keep it pretty natural. So I'm actually skipping foundation. I know that skipping foundation isn't for everyone. So if you want to apply your favorite foundation, then just go ahead. I'm going to be using the Kiko Sculpting Touch Creamy contour stick in the shade 200 and I'm also going to be using the Too Faced Born This Way concealer in the shade Chestnut and I'm going to apply this on my face and warm it up. The brush that I'm using is an iconic London HD blend brush and I love these brushes for blending out my cream contour or my foundation. I'm just going to be applying some concealer underneath my eyes and then also around my nose because I have a little bit of redness. So for that, I'm going to be using the Born This Way Concealer in the shade Warm Beige. To blend this out, I'm using a new BH Cosmetics brush from the Color Festival collection and throughout this video, you guys will see me using some more of the brushes from that collection. When my concealer is all blended, you guys know that I love to set my concealer down with the Essence All About Matte Fix and Compact Powder. If you want, you can bronze up the face even more, and for that, I'm going to be using my favorite, my Benefit Hula Bronzer. Then I'm going to be using some of my Fenty Beauty Kilowatt Highlighter Duo, and I'm going to be mixing the two shades together. The face makeup is done, so now we're moving on to the eyes. This is going to be the easiest part because we're only going to be using one eyeshadow. So first, I'm going to be applying some Alley Girl Pro Concealer in the shade Yellow Corrector onto my lid, kind of as a base for the eyeshadow. For the eyeshadow, I'm going to be using the BH Cosmetics and Daisy Marquez eyeshadow palettes and I'm going to be picking up the yellow shade right here which is called Flower and I'm going to put this on my lids and also in my crease, so just all over my eyes. I am just packing this eyeshadow onto my eyelids and then softly blending it into the crease. Um, I'm just going to keep on adding this shadow until I'm happy with how the color looks. And as you can see, I am again using a BH Cosmetics brush from the Color Festival collection. To make the eyeshadow look pop even more, I'm going to be taking a little bit of the highlighter that we just used and I'm picking up the shade Hustla Baby and I'm putting this into my inner corners. Now it's time to apply some lashes. I'm going to be using the Sosa by Suzanne Jackson vanity lashes which are very dramatic but very pretty so I'm just gonna put these on. I just applied my eyelashes and I did my eyebrows off camera. If you guys want to know how I do my eyebrows I have a full detailed brow routine up on my channel already and I will link it down below. So now I'm going to be applying a little bit of that yellow eyeshadow on my lower lash line and I'm also going to be applying some bottom lash mascara. This is the Too Faced Better Than Sex mascara. For my lips, I'm going to be using the MAC Cork Lip Liner and then over top, I'm applying the Iconic London Lip Plumper in the shade Nearly Nude. Okay guys, so this is going to be everything for the makeup tutorial. I really hope you enjoyed this video. Give it a thumbs up if you liked it and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. And I will see you guys back in my next video. Bye!